Hi, welcome to my channel. Um, we are switching over from Hearthstone and other games over to King of Fighters All-Stars. It's a game that's been around for a little bit and I've been playing the Japanese version of the game. And as a new player, I think there are a lot of quests that might be a little challenging for new players um, until they learn the kind of the mechanics. So the next series of videos will kind of go over um, tactics and strategies to beat various uh, pieces of content, PvE content in the game. And today we'll be covering the Shin Advent event uh, uh, for Ch Wrath Chizuru. Um, so I have a video queued up here. Uh, this is from one of my runs the other day. And um, the team that I'm using is uh, right here. Um, it is 97 Shermie in the front. Um, and then I have a Orochi Shermie in the middle. You don't really need her. And then I have Geese in the back. Now, the way this particular event uh, works is it costs 50 AP. Um, and you fight the sa same boss from the Epic Quest. So in Epic Quest uh, 0, Stage 3, you fight uh, Wrath Chizuru. And um, her, Nick, uh, her characteristic, I guess, if you will, is that uh, she heals every time you hit her. So you need to put damage over time on her So because that's the type of damage that she cannot heal through. So there are different um, ways to do this. And in the Epic Quest, you can use Bleed. Uh, poison, shock damage, frost damage, I think. Uh, those are the different dot abilities or dot effects that you can apply. In the Shin Advent, she's immune to bleed. So characters like Mature 96, um, you know, uh, she's immune to bleed and burn. So you aren't able to use those types of effects. So for here, I'm going to use Shock. That's why I have Shermie and that's why I have Geese, both characters that can do Shock. Um, there is another difference between these two modes. Um, and I'll explain it as the video begins. But um, basically, most of the run will be done with just Geese, just to apply the Shock damage. And um, the reason why we have 97 Shermies in the front is because if my guys are 70% above health, or they have more than 70% health, then they do more damage, something like 60%. So I just want to do as much damage as I can. So here we go. And I'll just pause momentarily as uh, parts of the fight go on. The beginning of the fight is simple. You avoid the red stuff on the ground. Don't get grabbed by that circle thing. That will kill you. And then I just apply abilities. So anytime I see a red thing on the ground, you get out of it. You know, you stop attacking, you get out of it. Because this is a fight about damage over time, not about um, running through burst, okay? And as you see on Chizuru's health bar in the top, you can see uh, the effects that are currently applied on her, right? So there, she does a two swipe attack, and then after this attack, she'll do this the two red lines. The two red lines mean she's doing her tornado phase. And these tornadoes, they do quite a bit of damage, so um, you want to evade them. Now the pattern is she'll throw two uh, tornadoes that you have to either roll through or be immune through. Um, and then she'll throw a tornado high. Then she'll throw two more tornadoes that you have to roll through. Then she'll throw another tornado high. So you'll notice that in this phase, geese will try to stay to the lower part of the screen, the lower part of the platform. See, I'm going down. I roll through. I dodge the top one. I roll through dodge the top one, and then I attack. And then she's going to do the phase one more time. So I back away, roll through, dodge the top one, roll through, dodge the top one. Okay, so that is pretty simple. And you can see she started at 25. I already got her at 20. Um, this is the next phase, the crystal phase. Now, this phase is interesting. And I'll explain this a little bit. So there's two ways to handle this. And I believe that this way is by far the best way. Um, the reason this fight is different than the Epic Quest version is because in this fight, you have a timer that you have to beat. You only have three minutes or whatever it may be to beat this quest. So you have to clear it in a limited amount of time. So this is a DPS check. You need damage. Uh, you know, you need to be able to clear this. In the Epic Quest, there is no timer. 
Uh, so you, I mean, theoretically, you could clear it with a really low level character. It would just take 15 minutes, which I've done. Now, because of this, I believe you should ignore this crystal. The crystal has an HP bar. If you beat the crystal, it gives you a buff that will prevent you from dying. Um, or it, it will give you like a defense boost for a, a limited amount of time. Um, if you don't, what happens is after 15 seconds or so, that crystal, crystal will turn into a black hole. Then it will explode, dealing damage and one-shotting anything on the board, pretty much. Okay. Um, so I'll show you how we're going to get through it. So right here, I'm just spamming attacks, you know, using my shock abilities, which is the Rapukin right there, the first ability, and the second ability, which is that. Now, pay attention to Chizuru. So now, that crystal has disappeared. It's become this ball. That ball is slowly going to go down. And look at Chizuru's uh, animation right now, okay? Keep an eye on this. And notice that I haven't used my third skill here, okay? So just watch, watch. Okay. Now, notice how she has turned. Like, now she's beginning to use an ultimate. And this ultimate will deal damage to everything on the screen. Um, and it'll kill you. So, in Epic Quest, the way that you can avoid this is you can use your final, your desperation move or whatever it's called. You can use one of these supers. And because you're immune, you'll just kind of dodge that um, animation. But in the advent quest you don't get your power uh chizuru has power drain so you can't really fill your power so what you can do here is one of two things you can swap a character in as soon as the explosion is about to happen so that you kind of are immune or you you know you evade that explosion damage or in this case i have geese he's op uh geese's third skill this one gives you damage immunity for three seconds so now that i see her doing this i'm going to use this damage immunity ability to go through it now remember geese is not the only one who has this i think uh, clark has this damage immunity maybe ralph even has this damage immunity the ones from the free event um so theoretically you could be doing damage with the person who deals the dot damage for you and in this phase you just switch into your damage immunity character and use their damage immunity ability at this point. Okay, so watch what happens. She explodes everything. I used my spell. I get hit, but I take no damage. Okay, so we'll play that back one more time. This is her phase. The ball is going down. Look at her animation now. She turns. I use my third skill, gives me damage immunity, and it's over. Okay? That is the third phase. That's the crystal phase. So the next phase is this ad that happens. So this ad will stay on the thing on the on the screen until he dies. You must kill this. He's just um, he is just a troublesome. He's a unit that has to be dealt with. Um, so typically what I like to do is when he spawns, I'll just go behind him and I'll just attack him towards Chizuru, right? So you'll see that right here. And you, this is a DPS race. You have to get this down pretty quickly because at the end of this phase or before, or at a certain like 10 seconds or whatnot, she will start flapping her wings. So here you see me get behind him. I hit him, push him, and I'm just gonna kill him into Chizuru. Now notice Chizuru is flapping her wings and she now is blowing gust of air. You must stop whatever you're doing and dash. Just run towards her. If you go to the end of the screen, you'll take a ton of damage. You will probably die. It sucks. Once that's over, we just go back to this normal phase where you dodge the red stuff on the ground. There's tornadoes. Remember, roll through the first tornado, dodge the top one. Roll through the second tornado, dodge the top one. She does that one more time. Right? So what do we do? Roll through the first, dodge the top. Roll through the second, dodge the top. And then we go back to the crystal phase. And what do we do in the crystal phase? Spam your shock or dot abilities, but make sure that you have your damage immunity ability available. And right, and remember for geese, it's this, this one right here down here. So crystal disappears. There, Chizuru changes position. We use the damage immunity skill, uh, spell and then rinse and repeat. 
you know. So, here I kind of messed up a bit. But, like, you know, I just get, I just reset my position and I make sure that I take care of this ad. And here, Chizuru didn't do the, um, the wing thing, but you just got to pay attention. So, if she skips that phase, that's fine. We get back right in into the tornado phase. And we just dodge through the tornadoes, like I said. Two set, remember, it's a, she does her tornado skill twice. So, you just dodge through this stuff. And then you are down to the crystal phase again. The reason why Geese does so much damage here is... Um, let me reset this a bit here, okay? Um, Geese, he has a shock, right? His, his moves do shock. They do a dot. But he also has a core ability that on... I guess it's on critical chance or on, on some type of hit chance that he can deal all that extra shock damage immediately as like a 300% bonus damage or something. So you'll notice like if you just keep an eye on Chizuru's health bar, she has shock and then all of a sudden it's just like boom, she loses like a huge portion of life, right? And that's just geese being OP, right? So there, you know, she's taking down from all this shock damage right there and we're gonna be able to kill her pretty quickly. So that is it. That's that's pretty much that event. This is, you know, like, once again, proof. This is the uh, Advent event for Chizuru. Shin Advent event for Chizuru. Um, it is more challenging on on sh the Shin Advent difficulty, I in my opinion, than it is in the um, uh, Epic event, simply because there is a timer, right? There, It is a DPS check, so you are racing against the clock. Um, that's why I suggest you, your team should consist of um, a, a, a leader skill that is, gives you a bunch of damage, the most damage you can get for the, the unit that you're going to clear it with. Um, a unit to clear it with, whether it be Geese, Shermie, um, uh, Hop, the Pretty, a Shihiro, whatever it may be. A unit that can deal dots, right? Um, and then just the backup unit. Uh, also, if you don't have a unit, if your dot dealer uh, doesn't have damage immunity or you don't know if you feel comfortable doing the swap, character swap right before the ultimate, then you should also bring a character that has a damage immunity ability like Sentai Ralph or Sentai Clark. Those those are options to do it. So um, that is it. That's It's pretty quick and easy way to clear that event. If you have questions about that, let me know. I can show you what, what to do. In terms of cards, I think maybe this is that is something that we should talk about a little bit. In terms of cards, I think the Kula set, uh, I think it's called My Favorite Things, um, that's attack damage. So if you do have that, you obviously want to try to um, equip that, and, you know, level it up as high as you can. For me, I actually have that equipped, but I don't have it max level. I don't even have them level two skill. Okay, they're just like level one, but um, you know, so this this is clearable. Like I've only played the game for less than a month, so um, th this is obviously content that is achievable and it's worth doing. For s for the option cards, however, I do suggest like you definitely need to get the CDR cards. The I I don't, I don't remember what they're called, Unreal Piece or something like. There's a couple of those cards that reduce the cooldown reduction of your skills. Since the skills are the ones that provide the dots, you know, obviously you want to be able to cast them as much as possible. So those are important. Anyway, thank you for watching the video. Please tune into my next video, which will cover um, how to deal with the Sentai Rangers event on Infernal.